families maybe making things work. Um, she's had a chance to do some thinking, my character Randy. Chapter 15. I take my time walking home after school. On the way, I practice my lines. But not the ones I'll say to Hermia or Demetrius. The ones I'll say to Mom. She and Toby are already home when I arrive. Toby rushes to me and says, Hopscotch loves carrots. Hopscotch loves birthdays. I bet, I say. Sounds like you had a good day. And I mean it. We need to talk, says Mom. I know. I pull out a chair at the kitchen table. Mom and Toby do the same. I grab an apple from the fruit bowl in the middle of the table. Toby grabs one too. I'm sorry. Mom and I apologize at the same time. You go first, says Mom. She isn't blasting me with anger, so I take a deep breath and plunge in. I shouldn't have lied. I didn't tell you about Friday because I would have had to tell you that I was taking Toby with me to drama classes. I let things get out of control. I was so happy after I got the part I wanted, a leading role. I kept lying so I could perform. I've never wanted something this much. What upsets me most, says Mom, is that you put Toby's safety at risk. She reaches across the table and rolls her fingers through my brother's hair. But I have my own apology to make. On Sunday at the support group, they were discussing respite and how valuable it is for siblings to get a break too. Maybe I wasn't keen on it before because I needed to know that I could do this on my own. I'm about to say something when Mum adds that we could do it on our own. Toby crunches his apple. He laughs. I guess it's a private joke. Then he rubs his chin and says, I must to the barbers, I'm marvelous hairy about the face. <laughs> What's that about, asks Mum. That's Bottom's line in the play. So, you've been doing Shakespeare, eh? Yeah, a Midsummer Night's Dream. How did Tobias ever learn those lines, she asks. Toby jumps up and does his wall routine. Mum laughs. I can't help myself. I crack up too. Mr. Dean, Josh, Amber, they've all been really cool with Toby. He likes drama, Mum. I look at Toby and say, French bean. Ooh la la, he says. <laughs> Mum laughs again. See, it's not just about me. Toby enjoys it too. He really likes coming to drama class. Yes, I lied and that was wrong. But we've been practicing the play for weeks now. I take another breath and my words come again, just like I practiced. Could Toby come with me? Can I finish the play? I promise you can ground me for the rest of the school year. It's just there are a lot of people. Mom jumps in. Counting on you? I nod. Mom continues. Well, there's too much going on at work right now for me to be out of the office. I'm needed there, like you're needed in the play. You're still grounded on the days you don't have drama, and you absolutely must look after Toby on rehearsal days. In that moment, I realized something. You know, Mom, I don't need to look after Toby anymore. He's getting older, but I will still look out for him. I've been doing that for years, and I'm pretty good at it. Thank you.